According to a new survey issued by the Freedom Economy Index, 91% of small business owners are worried that American colleges and universities are not preparing students for real-world expectations before graduation. Small business owners reported that college graduates expect to enter the workforce at the top with a high-paying salary, of course, and plenty of vacation and, you know, all the perks. Wouldn't that be nice? Not having to work hard and earn what you have, you know, just having stuff given to you. Not only that, but it was also reported that these individuals lack the ability, lack the ability to work independently, you know, to do the job, and they constantly need validation of their work. You have to pat puppy on the head, you know, to make sure that they're happy. Does the diploma subject matter align with the real world business needs? Are the universities and colleges actually preparing their students for the real world? Joining me now on the subject is Campus Reform Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Zachary Marshall. Zachary, good to see you. Man, you look good today. You're really smart. Boy, are you wonderful. You're the best person ever. Does that, does that get us started in the conversation? Are you all right? Yeah, I'll pretend that was some it's, senior. I like that. Uh, I yeah, mean, I, good look. You're so pretty. You, you work so hard. I mean, come on, people. I had bosses that called me everything, you know, with blue words. You know, just this way, you know, they just treated everybody, you know, and I'm not saying that's the way to be either, but come on, being coddled all the time from helicopter mom to helicopter teacher to helicopter college, stop it. Teach people to compete, right? Exactly. I mean, well, the problem we're seeing here is the result that when you look in the education system and applies both to K through 12 and also to higher ed, uh, professors don't value merit, and they don't value the capitalist system. There are socialists who want to, you know, promote equity. So of course, you know, young um, people are going to enter the workforce with no context for hard work and for the reward of hard work, even without praise. There's no such thing as, you know. Um, time out or validation in global trade or global competition. So this is setting up for, for, fa for failure as you know we go head to head against China on the world stage. Oh gosh, you lost a hundred million dollars today, Johnny. That's too bad. Boy, you're doing a fine job. That's the other thing. You can't hurt Johnny's feelings. You can't hurt Susie's feelings or whatever the names are. You got to yeah. use. I mean, these people are more concerned in these colleges to make sure that these. Folks, when they get out, use the right pronouns as opposed oh. to showing up to work ready. You know, I never even knew what a soft skill was, Zachary. It was never, never a term yeah. I understood. Soft skills, for people that don't know, it means you show up to work on time, you're dressed appropriately, you've combed your hair, you've brushed your teeth, you've tied your shoes. Uh, apparently, you have to teach people these skills of the world the, these days. I mean, <laughs> my mother wouldn't have let me out of the house, and if I had gotten out, my yeah. father would have tackled me in the front yard. I mean, come on. Yeah, they don't have the soft skills, and what they do have, though, is the gumption and the entitlement to say, okay, I've done the bare minimum, I've showed up to work, I've got here at 9, I leave here at 5, give me a raise. The problem we have in this country is that we have a whole generation of young workers who want you know, to be handheld throughout the day. They want the salary of someone who doesn't require supervision, and they want the job responsibilities of someone who doesn't have a job. When they do get the opportunity, they shirk away from it. So this is, you know, wanting their cake and having to eat it too. This is a complete mess, and I'm rather pessimistic about the future of this country. That's why I wrote my op-ed recently yeah. about Gen Z being a wasted generation. So I, I'm going to share this story because I find it eye-opening and amusing all at the same time, Zachary. A good friend of mine runs a medium-sized company. Recently got a call, had a job opening, and got a call from, from a candidate, uh, early 20s, maybe not quite 25, but early 20s, and said, okay, uh, qualified for the job, had the right degree, this and that. How much am I getting paid to come do the job interview? And he said, I'm sorry, what job interview? And hung up. I mean, that yeah. was it. I mean, they, these kids seriously think, what are you paying for the job? I don't, I don't pay for job interviews, yeah. genius. I, I mean, life skills would be a, a class to teach. These people are so situationally unaware, they're oblivious to the world around them. They stare at this device in their hands all day long and have no idea what happens in the real world. You know, they should be watching these animal survival films on the yeah. Nature Channel to get an idea of how the real world works, shouldn't they? 
Yeah, exactly. And you know what? Holding down a job really is just not that hard. It really isn't. It takes a lot of skill to, to screw it up. Be on time, do your job, and be responsible and try your best. No one's perfect, and everyone understands that humans make mistakes. Uh, but what we're seeing here is, you know, parents coming to job interviews, we're seeing 91% of employers saying, I don't think... Wait, 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 yeah. wait. What, what, what? Mom and dad come to the job yeah. interview? Yes, that is being reported oh, in media. <laughs> it's Come helicopter on. parents going to extreme, yes. <laughs> helicopter mom shows up for the yeah. job interview. And Johnny yes. would like this, and Johnny would like that. Am I, I, I can't, what, first of all, I, I, okay, so the kid does that, but the parents. Yeah. Come on, you're you're supposed to be adulting, as they say. What what is that? I'm sorry to laugh out loud, but good grief, right? You know, I'm trying to be serious. You know, talking with you, I'm trying to be serious and professional <laughs> as possible. But I just want to laugh because it's the best, you know, reaction to how absurd it is and how dangerous it is for our country. Uh, we just, I mean, we have these surveys that came out in the last six months showing 90 plus percent of employers say college is not preparing. Uh, young work, you know, young people for the workforce. They have the wrong expectations of what it means to work. So that's a very uh, eerie and boding sign that right now we're seeing so many employers not only ditch four-year degrees, but also kind of just say, you know what, I'm not going to hire Gen Z people right now. They just aren't worth the hiring and firing costs. You know, which brings me back, by the way, to the idea that a lot of kids, even smart kids, book smart kids, shouldn't be in college. Maybe not when they're 18, 19, 20 years. And we have a, a generation here that's been negatively impacted, made, make no mistake, yeah. negatively impacted by being locked down for COVID. This, this was really a mess for people being socialized properly as well. Also set them back. Uh, arrested development, as they would say, right? Yeah. Um, and so you've got kids that are handicapped in a variety of ways because they can't function in the real world. Uh, what do we do to fix it? Because it really is an emergency. We need to reintroduce standards, and so that's really not a hard fix. It just takes willpower. It takes the simple willpower of saying, we used to have deadlines that we enforced. Let's go back to that. We used to have standardized testing be requirements. Let's go back to that. We used to take attendance every morning and dock people for not showing up. There is a bill being considered in, by the Ohio legislature right now that would, if it were passed, would pay high school students just to show up to school and to graduate as a way to incentivize attendance. I mean, this is just pathetic on so many levels. Levels. So we don't need new solutions. We just need to go back to what was working uh, well enough, you know, 10, 20 years ago. And the will yeah. that's not there is, you know, a huge problem. Zachary, it's insanity is what it is. It really is. Um, yes. Can I get... It, it really is, my friend. Thank you for being yep. here as always. More insanity the next time you stop by, I'm quite sure. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thanks.